Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces and I wanted to share with you a kind of a tool that I use to minimize downtime when it comes to swapping hard drives on a mining rig. Um, for example, not too long ago I did a review on the Viseki 240G. I got it from Wish. Very cheap drive. Um, it's certainly capable, especially for gaming or you know desk, regular desktop use. However, I bumped into an issue when it came to using it for my mining rig. The reason I even started using this is because I upgraded from a regular platter hard drive to a SSD like the PMY, uh, but it was a 120 gig, and then I upgraded to this because I needed more space, and I did a video not too long about, about how much space you should really have for your mining rig. You don't need much, but you definitely, to me, need more than 120 uh, because of not only the software you're installing, but the virtual memory or page file size that you need to put. So we're gonna be upgrading to the ADATA SU 655 but I don't want to reinstall windows and drivers and all that stuff so what am I going to do well first let me explain why I'm upgrading in the first place most miners uh, will set the page file size which normally comes to you know you right click on this PC properties come to advanced system settings and go to the advanced tab and then under the performance section there's settings and then you have to go back to the advanced tab and then at the bottom you'll see virtual memory in virtual memory right now you can see it's about 25 gigabytes that's being allocated what this is it's allocating a certain amount of space on your SSD or hard drive depending on what you have as a is as, as kind of like storage for the memory so to speak right so things get offloaded there and read from and try to brought, bring back over to the system memory and you it's really faster to write and read from system memory but not everything can be stored on there especially most mining rigs from my understanding have about 8 gigs not 16 or 32 or 64 so using this virtual memory to adjust the page file is something that most miners do especially when you have a bunch of cards uh, we usually uncheck the automatically manage and then choose a custom size and it can vary anywhere from 24,000 to 32 or uh, you know 40,000 to uh, 48 so on and so forth mine was set to 56,000 megabytes and then 64,000 megabytes at the maximum and that's been running well on my previous hard drives and SSDs no problem pretty much the same cards and stuff like that but up until recently I started getting something called DPC watchdog violation and I was wondering why so system would run for a while do great mining blue screen restart and then mining blue screen restart so on and so forth what I've come to notice is that even though it could happen for a number of reasons it, it's likely due to unsupported SSD firmware or SSD drivers or old SSD drivers hardware incompatibility issues or system files being corrupted now I know everything else is working because it's been working and I had no problem with it but now all of a sudden I'm getting a bunch of blue screens but to minimize downtime and stop myself from having to redo windows install drivers reset up everything MSI afterburner a awesome miner uh, re-import all my batch files and stuff like that I can just image and I use a program called Macrum Reflect now it is free but for you can even get it for commercial if you have if you want to buy a commercial license however if you're just going to be using it for home use and maybe on a few machines then you should be able to work just fine with the free version very simple once you get the program installed just follow the basic installation steps uh, you'll see on screen my hard drives that are connected at the moment now the bottom one is my external hard drive that I'm going to be backing up to and I already made the backup but I want to walk you through this you want to make sure you get a hard drive a replacement hard drive with the same capacity these are both 240 gig and then with this program opened up you can click on image disk and if you don't have a hard drive with the same capacity but it's bigger that's fine but you're probably gonna to have to create a partition or even when you restore the image it's gonna create a partition uh, equal to the size uh, of the original hard drive that you're restoring the image from just bear that in mind so once you select the image uh, this disk it will bring you to this page where you can choose where you want to save uh, your image now you can add it to a DVD or CD burner if you really want to but you're gonna have to, a bunch of CDs in there uh, you're gonna want a flash drive at least for a 240 gig maybe around 30 32 gigabytes I would recommend much more to that depending on how much software you have installed on this but you select the destination that we're going to save to 
and on the next page we can actually create a backup plan which is really cool say for example you continuously update stuff awesome minor maybe you get the latest G minor lol minor whatever it may be and you're constantly making updates but you don't have time to stay on top of backing it up well you can set up a schedule to where it will automatically do either a full the backup image or a differential which will compare the original image to the new system and just take whatever is new and add it to the image so it's really cool and you can set it up um, you know to keep the oldest backup for X amount of time how much space all that good stuff very good tool to schedule that if you want to set it up automatically in this case I don't need to worry about that so I would hit next and then I can see every rule or information about the backup or image that I'm about to make now as I said I already made a backup of this and it took about um, 30 gigs I want to say yeah so 30.4 gigabytes of total space it took up to back up this 240 gig with all my settings for Nvidia miners the whole nine yards so it's not bad whatsoever when you reinstall Windows and you have to reinstall everything including drivers sometimes you can bump into issues and then DDU and have to reinstall drivers again or code 43 code it, it can be a hassle sometimes it goes smoothly sometimes it doesn't well that can take up to two to four hours to get everything reconfigured even if you do have all your files backed up well imaging is very simple and with this tool I can also create a rescue disk if I have a extra USB drive which I do I can actually create a rescue disk on a USB drive or I can make a Windows bootable drive uh, I already made one so I'm all set and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this USB drive out of my main system go over to my mining rig shut it down boot into that USB and then I'll be able to select the image on my external hard drive and restore that image right onto this A data SU655 alright so step one we need to get this mining rig shut down now because the way I have the power supply set up on this one, I'm going to have to manually shut it down because it just keeps triggering to come back on. Obviously we need to disable the power source. I like to do it at the surge protector. Some people have a, uh, a different type of switch, not just a regular power switch. We need to get this SSD disconnected and connect the new one. Going to need to plug in the backup hard drive and the USB drive and make sure we boot into it kick on the power again I always shut down my ATX power supply I'll do some cleaning after I get everything situated gotta make sure we boot into the USB. Uh, I forgot which one it is. Either F11, we'll just do delete for now. Uh, F12, F11, press enter to stop post. Well, we'll just jump into delete. Alright, so we want to boot. Yep, boot menu. And so we're going to boot into the flash drive or the bootable USB that I made for Mac and Reflect and apply the image from my external hard drive that you see over there, one terabyte. Clean up this machine and we should be back up and running. I'll uh, notate the time once I bring you guys back. All right, so once you get booted up, by the way, you're going to be faced with this. Very simple. You click up here. You should be on the Restore tab up in the top left. Um, make sure you hit browse image for file and then you're going to navigate to wherever it is on your external hard drive this is my image right here I'm going to hit OK and then I want to restore image it's going to give me the uh, select disk right here this is the one we want the A data up here you can see Viseki Viseki up top A data on bottom roughly around the same size so we're going to go ahead and hit next finish and it's going to start going
back on the desktop in seven minutes, 45 seconds. All my programs are already installed, all my presets for MSI Afterburner, all my batch files, all my overclocks, everything is there. So eight minutes, we'll say, plus the time it took to shut down the rig, three minutes, so a total of 11 minutes to get everything back up and running. Not a bad uh, way to use uh, Mac and Reflect to minimize downtime on your mining rig. But this will help you save time and hassle if you use this type of software. And if you are using an imaging program of some type, other than Mac and Reflect, please let us know in the comments below. I'm very interested to see what you're using. I've been using Mac and Reflect uh, for not only my full-time job, but personal use for quite some time. And I think it's a very great product uh, to help miners save downtime if they did need to swap hard drives. Now, it's not often that we do, but if we did, here's an opportunity for you or an option for you. And I hope that it helps you out in some form or fashion. Do me a favor on the way out, guys. Hit the like button. Subscribe for more content like this. And as I mentioned before, hit me up in the comments. Let me know your thoughts and what you're using. Take care, guys.